going to be making a raw bro broccoli salad. So uh, something I kind of have started doing more recently and it was inspired by just one day I couldn't be bothered cooking the broccoli actually. Um, so it's a great way to save, save time in the kitchen but it also you know, keeps the broccoli fresh and crunchy so it kind of turns it into quite a, quite a different vegetable and you know, keeps all, all those heat soluble vitamins and, and nutrients stay intact in the broccoli as well. So really love this. Um, today we're making it with avocado and some roasted almonds and just a vinaigrette of uh, whole grain mustard and uh, sherry vinegar and some olive oil. But you know, it's kind of the idea you can take it and run with it however you like. So we'll hop into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make it. So I'm gonna make a dressing. So I've got some uh, whole grain mustard here, but you, know, you could use any mustard you like. So about a tablespoon, a bit more, quite generous. Um, yeah, Dijon mustard would be lovely. I often make use that. And then I've got some sherry vinegar, but you could use lemon juice, you know, red wine vinegar. The sherry vinegar is, is my favourite because it um, kind of has a more subtle, subtle flavour and I just I just really love it actually. It's pretty you know much my go-to vinegar. And then um, we'll go a couple of tablespoons of olive oil as well. It's groovy pour. It takes a little while. Might go three. So and just Give that a whisk, pop a bit of salt in, and mm, some pepper. And the great thing about mustard dressings is the mustard helps emulsify, so mix the vinegar and the oil together. So they kind of, yeah, they tend to, to be a little bit creamier and thicker than, than standard vinaigrettes. Great, so it's quite punchy, which is what we want because we're going to have the you know avocado, which is quite rich. So we'll just put it to a side and I'll prep the broccoli. So I've given this a rinse. I'm just going to chop up, chop off most of the stem. Um, depends on that kind of looks fairly woody and tough, so we'll, we'll just discard that. And then I'm just going to finely slice the rest of the stem um, because it, yeah, it is edible, and it's a shame to waste <laughs> things that that we could be eating. So put that in the dressing, and any leaves can go in as well. They kind of give you, you know, make it a bit more salady. And then as the florets off I'm just just going to chop them into bite-sized pieces and kind of the smaller the better I think it's kind of makes it more manageable because they are quite crunchy but it's up to you so we'll just keep slicing the stems and as the little heads fall off just <clears throat> put them aside and, and break them into little tiny tiny trees and sometimes I like to actually get one for it and just kind of Chop it up more finely just so you get different textures throughout the salad. It's a bit more like broccoli rice almost. So that's done. I'm just going to pop them down, pop that into the salad. And the great thing is that the broccoli is not going to wilt like the salad leaves do. So you can dress this, you know, an hour, a couple of hours in advance and just keep it in the fridge. So it's a bit more forgiving than a, a mixed leaf salad. So we just want to toss that to coat the broccoli, making a big mess. An avocado, so I'm just going to chop that around the middle, kind of trying to be safe about it. Then give it a twist and just be careful with the seeds because I know people have cut themselves. So just put it on the ground, fingers well away, knife goes in and then just on the edge to get it off. Um, so for the uh, for the avocado, I like to just do little kind of scoops to into little little kind of bite-sized chunks. But you could you know chop it at whatever you feel like you like doing. Mm, avocados and salads, such a good thing, such a great lunch. So, um, all that lovely fat keeps you nice and full. Just give that a little toss. Get the avocado mixture. And then I'm going to finish off with, I've just got some roasted almonds here. So I'm just going to sprinkle over literally a handful like that, but you can, you know, chop them up or whatever. It'll give them a toss through and that's our salad done.